The North Carolina-Kansas NCAA Men's Basketball National Championship game a few weeks ago was everything unaffiliated basketball fans were seeking. It was a seesaw battle to the very end, with the outcome undetermined until the last seconds of the game. The Jayhawks refused to quit despite North Carolina's huge lead at halftime. In the second half, Kansas rallied to take a sizable lead, and the game went back and forth until North Carolina missed a game-tying three-point shot as time finally ran out. It was a tremendous physical battle between two groups of men who were determined to win. We've been looking at the events surrounding Judah and Israel during the days of Elijah and Elisha. As God's prophets, they were engaged in a tremendous battle against the armies of evil, primarily the Baal-worshipping kings of Israel, but in some cases the kings of Judah, and they were determined to win. That battle included delivering God's message to the kings and people by word and miracles. Some of those miracles involved the destruction or capture of actual soldiers who threatened the prophets, 2 Kings 1 and 6. When Jehoram, king of Jerusalem, fought the nation of Edom, it should have been a win for Judah, but it was a draw with Judah having to withdraw and return home. Unlike the championship game where the men refused to give up, Jehoram's soldiers quit and refused to fight, 2 Kings 8 verses 20 through 23. Since he had turned to Baal worship, and had murdered his own brothers and other leaders in Jerusalem, the soldiers may have decided he wasn't worth fighting for. After serving a good king, his father Jehoshaphat, they knew Jehoram was evil, and perhaps determined they weren't going to get in the way of God's judgment revealed in a letter from Elijah, 2 Chronicles 21, verses 12-15. These events serve as illustrations of the Christian life. Becoming a Christian makes us soldiers in his army, fighting against the forces of evil, Ephesians 6, verses 10 through 17. But this battle is primarily fought in the battlefield of our mind and heart. There we are fighting the deceit and lies of Satan, who wants to capture us for himself. And unlike the once-a-year national championship game or the occasional physical battles by armies, this is a daily battle. Satan attacks us every day in various ways, seeking to wear us down. We must hold on and make sure he misses that last second three-point shot. Don't quit. Don't give up. Victory in Christ is ours if we will keep fighting for him. Thank you for watching Morning Minutes in the Bible on An American Missionary. Until next time, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.